I'm a fifth generation farmer on the Schroeder family farm. We was uh, needing 300,000 bushel of storage immediately and we needed uh, drying capacity. So we went onto a bare site and put in a GSI top dry wet holding tank and two 125,000 bushel storage uh, bins. You know, I had a vision of where I was heading in the design, what I was needing. You know, things grew a little bit larger um, and a little faster than we were planning, but we was able to incorporate that into the big picture of how she turned out in the end, and it's worked great. I think uh, GSI brings a, a lot of uh, solutions and expertise uh, working with our independent dealer organization to help provide you know all the different types of uh, products that a customer needs to really make the system that fits for him. You know, we can be a one-stop shop for you know our, our really stellar independent dealer organization while they're sitting down with the customer to try and figure out what's the exact right combination of equipment for their needs. I had a pretty good idea how I wanted to lay things out for truck traffic. So they kind of uh, helped me size things up with what we were needing. The top dry seemed to be the obvious choice that we wanted to go with, and they pretty much took care of that and advised me and sent me in the right direction. And uh, it was a good process, worked real nice. If you're starting from scratch building a dryer or grain bin, I would say compare it to your tool shed. What you think's big enough today will probably not be big enough tomorrow or definitely in the years to come. If you can put as big a dryer as you possibly can afford, or set into your system and tie into with what you've already got or what you're building. Go as big as you can because you will need the space and you will need the capacity. You know, we're able to harvest corn faster and faster every year and it just comes in so fast that it's nice to be on the top end of that size when you're drying corn.